You know, I think it's about time we built a 12th gen PC. G'day guys, my name is Corey and I run the Designs by Far YouTube channel and today we're gonna to be building an all white custom water cooled 12th gen PC. Now we haven't done RGB in a while either, so I might even throw in some RGB lighting. Now before we begin, consider hitting that subscribe button for me if you enjoy content like this. And I hope you all enjoy the video after today's video sponsor. Are you guys still waiting for an RTX 3000 series GPU to come back in stock at an affordable price? Perhaps you're after a PlayStation 5 but you don't want to pay the inflated pricing. Stock Drops is a program which will scan all of the stock from various websites out there and notify you when it becomes available. You can enable and disable which items and stores you want to receive notifications from and you can even set price limits on items such as GPUs. Once an item is found, you can have auto purchase set up so that it automatically purchases the item for you so you do not miss out. This feature can only be used once a month so that it doesn't accidentally purchase numerous amounts of the same item. This all works through their subscription model with the gold plan being the most popular. The limit and subscription helps to prevent scalping. So if you're looking for some sweet deals, why not give it a try? If stock drops can get you that graphics cards you've been after without that inflated price, you'll be saving hundreds of dollars and stock drops just became your best friend. Check out the links in the video description and a big thank you to anyone who does consider using it as it directly supports our channel. And check out the stock drops discord I'll leave a link in the video description if you have any questions. That's right, today we finally get to bring you our very first Z690 build featuring the ASUS ROG Maximus Z690 Formula motherboard. We now finally have an all white Formula motherboard which features DDR5 compatibility. And you know what ASUS has done that is extremely cool? They've actually created mounting holes for both LGA 1700 and LGA 1200, meaning that you could still use our current water blocks. I think that's an excellent job. For this system, I'm gonna sit aside our i9-12900K for another project and give some love to Intel's i5-12600K, which has 10 cores and 16 threads. The i5-12900K is a great choice CPU when it comes to getting great performance for the dollar. Storage-wise, we decided to go with a total of eight terabytes of Corsair MP600 Pro Gen 4 NVMe storage. These drives are rated among some of the fastest in the world with 7,000 megabytes per second read and 6,850 megabytes per second write. These drives come with big heat sinks. However, we'll be removing them and using the motherboard armor heat sinks. We are very excited to be able to test Corsair's new Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5 RAM. This is a 32 gigabyte kit running at speeds of 5,200 megahertz. The timings on DDR5 are not as tight as DDR4, but this is normal and I can't wait to see how these perform. We were able to use one of our older Corsair XC7 white CPU blocks due to the fact that ASUS created a mounting hole for LGA 1200 compatible coolers as well as LGA 1700. I'm glad they had this option, otherwise I'd be having to paint a new top plate for our black Corsair LGA 1700 CPU block. Our case of choice is the Corsair IQ 5000X RGB case. We've done a build in this case before, however, we love the amount of room inside of this case and the numerous amounts of features it offers that we wanted to try and create an all white build inside.
We decided to move all of the stock case fans and install the Corsair QL120 RGB fans in all slots so everything was matching. After a bit of planning, I actually decided to go with just one Corsair XR5 360 radiator because we decided to keep the white Strix GPU on air because we had never had one before. 360mm was going to be plenty for our i5 12600K and the motherboard VRMs. I removed the cable cover at the back, which exposed a large open section. I decided to create a nice clean white cover at the back so that all of the cables were hidden. This was laser cut acrylic and I created the file in Adobe Illustrator before sending it to the laser machine. Since our power supply is 850 watts, it is an all white build, I was finally able to get my hands on an ASUS ROG Strix RTX 3080 in white. I decided not to water cool this, otherwise it would just defeat the purpose of sourcing the card in white. This card will also pair up nicely with our 12600K CPU. I was debating adding in two Corsair XT5 white pump res combos, but in the end, the GPU took up a lot of room, so we could only go with one, and it was a CPU only loop. Having everything Corsair means that we were able to sync up all of the lighting. I found a local Australian company who do custom sleeve cables by the name of Skippy's Custom PCs. We got talking and I was able to get a discount code for you guys. Code IFR15 for 15% off. That was extremely nice of them and we're happy to support local business. We decided to go with a white Corsair RM850 power supply, mainly because it was white to match the rest of the build, and 850 watts will be plenty for our RTX 3080 and i5 12600K CPU.
This is an interesting gadget. This is a small screen from a company called Mech DIY. I'll leave a link in the video description. I wanted to add something special to the power supply cover section of the case to give it something extra. It was looking a little plain. We can use this screen as a normal monitor, but I personally wanted to use it to add a little artwork to the build. Thank you so much for watching guys. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and consider commenting down below. What did you like about this build? Would you have left the lighting on RGB or would you have wanted it white? I'll leave all of the specs in the video description for you guys to check out if you were interested. And if you'd like to support the channel further, Patreon or YouTube channel memberships is the way to do that. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all in the next one.